we're going? Shark Observatory from the top. Come and have a look. The rock formations are beautiful here. The shapes have obviously been weathered by the, the sand and the sea and the wind. But if you look a little more closely, it's the little details. I mean, over here, there's the signs of the corals in the rock here show that the sea levels around here was probably a lot, lot higher not too long ago. You certainly get a bit of a workout as well on your way up to the top. It's mad to think that only 20 minutes away is the hustle and bustle of Sharm El Sheikh. Sounds and smells, lots of people, lots of stuff going on. And here, all you can hear is the wind. It's windy, but it was well worth the climb. Look at this view, it's gorgeous. Time to go back down and down even deeper into the water. Wow, well, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, no sharks, but you drop down into that cave and the light's beautiful, you open up into the blue and the things that suddenly shoot by, the tuna passing by, really playful group, absolutely wonderful. Little blue spotted ray and that huge drop off full of corals and, and color and the the contrast between that wall and the blue that you get out there. Absolutely beautiful. What a wonderful place to dive. I'm here at the Ras Mohammed National Park and I'm standing on what could only be described as a plate of salt. It's a tidal lake, so as soon as the tide is going out, the salt within the sea actually stays on the surface and it crystallizes and it makes this beautiful, beautiful, hard, salt surface. It'd be interesting to find out what sort of creatures are able to survive in this water and the extreme conditions that they're put to. It's really protecting the, the, the underwater. There's algae. It's fantastic, that's amazing. I've never really spent much time looking at these lakes, but I'd like to find if there's a way in and out to see how this tidal current works and what it's protecting underneath. It's amazing. You can hear the water moving under my feet. The crunching. I'm standing on a salt lake in the middle of the desert. It's 
a little bit surreal, isn't it? You would think that at the very tip of the Sinai you would find this abundance of green. It's a mangrove. There's tiny little juveniles, even here. They're underneath the ledge, protecting themselves from the sun, I suppose. It must be quite warm. It's quite shallow. When we get to the root system of the actual mangroves itself, there's going to be so much more variety and different species. Let's take a look. That was just truly amazing. There's tiny little creatures inside. And the little crabs, the little hermit crabs, as you swim along, they all scatter away. Juveniles everywhere, they're just perfect of the actual adult size. This, this big, perfect. And the sun coming through, looking through the root systems, it was magical. Who would have think that how these trees can survive? With that much salt, it's so salty, you could feel my lips. The salt that's running through here, it's incredible. The tide's coming in, it's pushing through, so the visibility's gone. If we get the timing right tomorrow, maybe slack tide, and you haven't got the current pushing through to stir it up, we should be able to get some really good footage. Truly amazing. I can't wait to get back in tomorrow.